In 2020.3, Tableau have enhanced the navigation and export button controls. Now, these are very, very small adjustments. Uh, you might not even notice some of them. I've got them up here on my screen at the moment. Uh, nav buttons insert as text buttons by default. Um, they have square edges now. They have slightly different foreground and background colors. Uh, most important one for me is actually the ability to do uh, searches in this, in this list. So you can see here, you can do a searchable filter list. Um, it's really, really sort of important. I can't believe that wasn't there in the first place, but now it is there and um, it's much, much easier. But let's take a look at some of these um, very, very quickly inside of desktop. I'm inside of um, the default Superstore workbook inside of Tableau Desktop. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm on floating over here on the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna drag a navigation button. And when I drop this, you'll notice they have square edges. Before they used to have these very 1997 rounded edges. Thank God they've gotten rid of that. I'm also gonna drop a another uh, button. In this case, I'm just gonna open a download bu um, a button here and I'm gonna place it right next to that. And now you can see the sort of stylistic changes. They're now very similar. So one thing they've done is align the look of these two things. And you might say, well, the navigation uh, one is, is gray and the one on the right is black. Well, this is because it hasn't actually been set yet. This is what happens when you don't set a uh, navigation point for one of these navigation buttons. If I hit the edit button options, I get this interface. And when I go to this drop down, I have a search functions up at the top. So I can actually just search for something, which makes naming your sheets again even more important um, <clears throat> because you can use sort of nomenclature like uh, acronyms to uh, section up your workbook. So it's easy to search if you've got a lot of tabs going on. But um, if I just type in performance here, you'll see performance comes up. If I hit apply, you'll notice that this goes black now. So now those two have the same style. And actually without doing anything, uh, these these buttons already look and look much, much, much better than they used to before. Um, you know, just having a standard style makes it much easier. And actually with a few edits of the font or and the text, you can get this looking exactly as you want. And you don't lose the ability to change these navigation buttons in this particular case to an image. You just go down to the text button star here and select the image button and then you're pretty much good to go. Hit apply. Uh, now it's an image and now you can see it's lost the text there because I haven't actually put an image there. But this is pretty much it. This is working as you'd expect. It's a very small feature change, but my goodness, if you build lots of dashboards and you're using these navigation buttons instead of any of the messy old actions we used to do from blank sheets to blank sheets, then <laughs> you'll find this a much, much welcome improvement. If you've enjoyed this video, check some of the other videos out that are on this playlist. Um, if uh, you don't like the content, let us know what you'd like to improve. Uh, subscribe if you do like it and let us know what content you'd like to see more of. I'll catch you in the next one.